And we're really gonna try and use the PM Go on uh, Scud here. Secure in zone A. Lock down A. Take a Bravo underway. So I'm actually watching Tomographics video. I've been playing the beta right now. Wow. And he mentioned in his video, I'll, I'll leave the link down in the description in his channel if you want to sub go subscribe to him, which, uh, go subscribe to him. It's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, he also shares my love of Modern Warfare 2019, too. Damn. Wait, it says, uh, I hit the man with a car. Obviously, that means the car exploded, but... It looks like it says I hit him with a car. Also, the uh, kill feed icon for the Makarov is a Glock. Kind of makes me think it's just a reused asset from Modern Warfare 2019, just updated a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure the Makarov PM isn't in Modern Warfare 3. No, I know it isn't in Modern Warfare 2019. Um, but yeah, Tomographics video. He said that this game doesn't look that good. I don't remember his exact words. But it was on the lines of, like, the game doesn't look this good. I don't know if he was talking, like, the features and mechanics, or if he was actually talking about the graphics engine. Which I, I actually disagree with how the game looks. I think the game... Yeah, I think, whoops, I, I do think COD could probably just stop using this IW engine and move to UE5 and it would look way more realistic and it would look a lot better, closer. Damn, I should have waited to fully regen there. I wasn't all too much at full HP. I don't think COD would have, that's funny. I don't think COD would ever stop using this engine. I think they're just going to continue to use this engine and upgrade it. Quotes are on upgrade. Because, um, don't get me wrong, this IW engine, it's definitely got an upgrade in this game because the hand and arm details and the gun models and the engine itself, the fidelity, the sharpness, the higher level of detail. I didn't know there was two people there. Is a lot better from Modern Warfare 3. And and the colors, in my opinion, the colors look a lot better. I do see that it is missing a bit of saturation. But other than that, this engine does look good. But that being said, I think COD would benefit from moving over to UE5. And it would it would look a lot better. I don't know. It's obviously way more complex than just switching engines because they got to put all the COD assets into UE5, and the game would definitely feel way different. With that being said, it definitely that's a teammate. It would, in my opinion, benefit. Call of Duty to switch to like UE5 or something. Because comparing this game to indie games using UE5, it's funny. Can I not get one kill and then die, please? I think all I'm saying is I think if COD themselves all chipped in into making one game that was made with UE5. Don't get me wrong, some, some games in the UE5 engine doesn't look good because of their art style. But if they want, if they apply this art style to a UE5 version of Call of Duty, I think it would look incredible. The fidelity would be through the roof. The level of detail would be through the roof. Just overall, the engine would look incredible and it would look more realistic. Because he made a comparison in that in 2016, Battlefield 1 came out on the Frostbite, I think Frostbite 4 or Frostbite 5, one of the two. Wow. And 
it looked insane for, for 2016 graphics, which it did. The Frostbite engine... The Frostbite engine is one of the best looking uh, game engines on the market. Oof. And, yeah. And 2016 Battlefield 1 definitely looks a lot better than this game. I'm not even going to peek that. There's no way I win that fight. God, the PM is insane. You can't win gunfight against a jackal, but... The gun's pretty insane. Did you kill him, teammate? There's a dude behind me, I heard him. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments how you think about... In terms of the graphics engine itself. Don't just tell me it looks like Cold War, because it doesn't. Um, yeah, in terms of the graphics itself... Do you think this game doesn't look as good and could benefit from a complete brand new engine? All right. Because I, I know switching the UE5 isn't just that simple. And it's just not like porting the COD settings over. It's not that simple. Like they completely have to rebuild everything they've built with this engine into UE5. Almost killed him. And it, it definitely would not play like what it plays like now. It would it would be so different. Losing B. Cause I just don't think UE5 or the Unreal Engine in general has the features and mechanics to make it play exactly the same as it does now. Maybe some people see that as a benefit. New engine, marketed as a new engine. Call of Duty is finally using Unreal Engine. Uh -oh. The game feels way different, probably for the bad. Did I just stick him with that from that bar? Someone got a... Finish lines in sight. Ooh, I think one more bullet would have killed him from that far. I don't know if I like the PM. It's good. I don't know if I like it. God damn. Can't get a good streak with it. Enemy UAV inbound. God damn, I love the game. The game ending literally stole my kill. We went even. Right off the bat, I got jackaled. Oh, Tax Sans is in the game. I was, I was wondering, because there's certain lasers in the game that say they give you Tax Sans. Huh. So it looks like that's a, an attachment will give you Tax Sans. Why did you kill me and not the fucking HPT? HPT is taking fire. Keep the package safe. Hostiles reclaimed the lead. I heard a dragon off over here, by the way. Protect our HPT. He waited for me to turn around. I see a name in the kill feed that um, I'm a little sus about. Dude's just camping with the Dragnoff. Friendly HPT on site. Keep them safe. And he got out sniped by the Jackal. Keep the package safe. Feels bad. Use 
you are that is so annoying Turn around, teammate. Muerte. We took out their HVT. Hostile spotted. Wait, now I. What? Enemy now I don't have tax sense? The fuck? Protect our HBT. HBT under fire. Repeat oh my god. HBT it's not letting fire. me. They I don't know what HBT. that issue is. It's not letting me Enemy move my HBT stick. Is down. Friendly HBT on site. I have that in Modern Warfare 3 too, where it just won't let me move my stick when I'm aiming. Specifically at an enemy, it just won't let me move my stick. Protect our HBT. If I would have killed him, I would have laughed. Get fucked! I bet you you were using the fucking jackal too. HBT under fire. Repeat. HBT under fire. Oh, I don't have ammo. Activating acoustic. All right. We took out their HBT. Yeah, uh, this player right here, I'm sure it's a fake, but, uh, yeah. That should be the third time I've played with that person. The first time was back in Modern Warfare 2019 beta. That's funny. What a name. You fox, sweat lord, fucking jackal. Enemy HBT is down. HBT under fire. Repeat. HBT, oh, HBT under fire. Has been eliminated. Hostile HBT Target located. Protect our HBT. I was st stuck in an animation. One more bullet would have killed him. Yep, exactly. He literally took one damage and died. I love deleting people with these pistols when they're using jackals. Not when he's the HVT. Friendly HVT on site. Keep them safe. HVT under fire. Repeat. HVT under fire. My HVT has been eliminated. Oh, you're so good with your skill issue. I really hate this game mode. Oh, they win. Fuck off, dude. We've taken control. PSA, if you use the jackal, you have a small dick. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Siding in. Ramming some text. Second place. Crush those dirtbags. Ugh. 
SPMM is going to be pain for the next game. Very fun. Somehow we won. I don't feel like a winner. And we got jackals. And I got jackal. Jackal op six. Let's go. Till they nerf this gun to the ground, it's forever going to. Oh, that was an engagement. Hello. I'm still confused as to why I don't have kill sounds. Oh. Thank you, teammate. Alright, so now we know. You should be dead. Takes four bullets, body shots, to kill someone with a Makarov. Wasn't there a gun in Black Ops 4 called the Jackal 2? And wasn't it coincidentally broken as well? Thanks for shooting me and that the dude literally standing next to you. I really appreciate your target acquisition. Okay. Why did that shoot like a machine gun? And why did I see that dude through the wall? I'm gonna throw this down, someone's gonna peek. Hey buddy. He was laying down and then the animation had- I didn't hear him. Apparently he shot me twice. And then I afterlife killed him. That's funny. You go first, you got the gun. Oh my god, so many Semtexes. I hate how I'm shooting through a curtain and I'm getting a damage debuff for my bullets. Okay. But like... Okay. Come on, you're losing this Just uh, zombify this a little bit, make it a little bit more creepier, and then boom, got a zombie plant. Okay, nice spawn. Enemy put down. Just got an ass. Uh, nope, a face full of ass, not an ass full of face. Oh, kill confirmed. I didn't realize they had a kill confirmed in the game. Holy fuck. 
God damn you. Oh, got a stick. Oh my god. So many Semtex noises. Okay. Got it. I. Oh. Can I just get- Nope. We got the lead. Now hold it. Can I just get kills with the motherfucking Makarov, please? Nice. Is that a fucking Semtex ahead. kills? Odd timing. Okay. Skill based matchmaking literally ruins everything. If the COD devs actually played their game, they would know how much SBMM sucks massive dick. They would know and understand why the majority of the player base hates the shit out of skill base men. Both of those guys took too many bullets. We already know it's four, it's four per kill. I like that the whole team spawned in front of me. Sending a oh my god, this is pain. <laughs> I get one kill of them lucky and then die from a jackal. I was using an actual gun. Alright, I'm done with the beta for today. There's too many jackals.